formula was a book about uh, algorithms and the way that they sort of impact our, our lives and an algorithm at, at its most basic is sort of the step-by-step -step series of instructions by which a computer achieves a particular task yes. so it doesn't have to be artificial intelligence although a lot of the algorithms I talk about in the book relate to things like machine learning and neural networks which are a big part of uh, modern artificial intelligence. But with the formula, I was really interested in kind of the algorithmization of life, the way that algorithms are often used to, in the same way that we earlier on talked about how typewriters kind of impact on our thought structures around putting, you know, around sort of conveying information, what do algorithms do to that sort of same to, to, to sort of various spheres of humanity. Yeah. So, for example, I look at uh, sort of the algorithmization of creativity or what do algorithms do to human relationships or what do algorithms do uh, to our, our identities as individuals. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, in some ways, it was sort of a history of the algorithm, but really I was more interested in, I suppose, in this kind of broader... Um, idea of algorithm as a sort of a technical processes which sort of turns complex issues into sort of step-by-step -step series of computational <laughs> instructions if that doesn't sound too sort of rambling and kind of pretentious no, no, um sure. and then thinking machines i would say is more of a sort of straightforward um kind of survey of the history of artificial intelligence and a kind of a look at because artificial intelligence and I suppose in some ways your question was um, kind of what's the difference between uh, way, yes. the two um, I sort of made up my own definition of the algorithm in the sense that I, I, I just kind of talked about in terms of what it sort of represented uh, to me with artificial intelligence I was interested because I mean just by calling it artificial intelligence you immediately kind of mark this out as not just a, a, a technological um, field but also a deeply kind of philosophical field so I was interested in kind of tracing the history of this idea of what does it mean to you know what is intelligence what does it mean to make a machine think and then because there had i don't i don't think there has ever been kind of broad agreement over what the goals of artificial intelligence are but i think over time as this goes into more and more domains more and more people kind of you know jump on it then um the 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 complexity of sort of distilling this idea of what is artificial intelligence becomes more and more complicated one of the I, I I always liked to start my interviews for the book by asking people what do they think of as artificial intelligence. And firstly, it's amazing how many people who have been working in this field for you know often forty years um, can't kind kind of you know they they haven't yeah. thought about kind of yeah. what does this mean. Or well, they they've thought a lot about it, but to sort of explaining kind of what this relates to isn't always um, a straightforward thing. One of the people I interviewed uh, came up with a definition which I really like, which was that uh, artificial intelligence is cool stuff that computers can't yet do. Yeah. And so I think in that way it's kind of interesting because it's always this sort of technological dream which is sort of shimmering on the horizon. And the closer yeah. we get to it, the further it sort of recedes from, uh, from view. So I think that that's kind of a fascinating part of it. That is very true. Yeah. It's, it's like whenever there is some you know, some breakthrough. Yeah. People talk about, okay, this is either calling it narrow or yeah. this is kind of artificial intelligence, but if we do that, I mean, that would be artificial yeah, yeah. intelligence. And then we do that, and then it's like, okay, this is fine, but sure. if we actually go further, yeah. that would be AI. Do you think now there is a bit of a, the, the term artificial intelligence, AI, both commercially and in, in popular culture, is quite packed with a, I wouldn't say... Well, with inconsistencies, in a way. So, like, one of them is definitional issues, yeah. right? And another one is um, a lot of companies are using AI as this, you know, super hot sure. phrase in yeah. order to, you know, further their business. Yeah. And they're not really making, is it just machine learning? Yeah. Is it deep learning? Is it, would you think from an, from an ethical standpoint for a business... Or you know, really, business or charity or anything to be using artificial intelligence as a term. Do you think it would help for for them to have a set criteria as to what it is? And yeah, do you think that wouldn't really help? <clears throat> well, I think a lot of the time now when people talk about um, 
artificial intelligence, they're predominantly talking about machine learning. And I don't think, I, I, so for example, if you're working for a bank and they talk about, you know, and they call you in for a meeting and they, they say, we're investing heavily in, in AI, you kind of know that it's going to be sort of probably within a sort of set sphere of, of, of deep learning. Mm -hmm. They're probably not working towards the goal of artificial general intelligence, which is, you know, some people would argue that AGI, the kind of the idea of actually replicating intelligence in a machine is the only true artificial intelligence. But I think for the majority of people, they wouldn't think of it as as that. So I think part of it, yeah, it is a kind of a, a, a definitional um, problem. But I, I, I think there's probably within industry a fairly kind of broad agreement mm -hmm. over what what this is. I think ironically few of the people who are kind of using i mean if you look for example at you know the tech companies which are interested in this google they may be interested in sort of artificial general intelligence but the majority of the ai work that they do is finding new ways to sort of sell sell adverts to people yeah. so yeah. i always think that's kind of ironic that in some ways they're this company that have you know the, the greatest human minds of their generation sort of working for them and they're kind of putting them to work finding better ways to kind of target ads at people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even within a company like that, you sort of have a, a sort of schism in terms of what the goal of AI actually actually is.